Hello, Ledwin. Uh, many more congratulations for achieving your desired scores. Finally, <clears throat> I'm very happy, you know, to see your results and your message in our WhatsApp group. Uh, so you have got four B grades where you just required only 350 in speaking and then C grade or in, in other sections. <clears throat> I'm very happy that you are on the way to becoming a registered nurse here in Australia. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Mm. It was through your help and your effort that I managed to pass. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm very happy you uh. know, because, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I get a sense of satisfaction that I have been transforming the lives of people. And uh, mm. so far, whoever I have helped were so friendly and kind, just like you. <laughs> so mm, yeah, you, sure. you have, yeah, I've been <laughs> I've been trying to you know help everyone as much as I can in order to pass their examinations. Um, yeah, sure. And you know one thing, you know, once we had a role play conversation over phone. Do you remember that? I was yes. I was in Kmart. I was in a shopping center, you know, <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and then I came out and then I started giving you the session over there <laughs> and then I said, yeah. yeah, so uh, I tried to, you know, help you out as much as possible. And I know that you have a very busy working schedule. Plus, you know, you have to look after your family as well. And there are mm. lots of things, you know, that are going to happen. And um, yeah, even for everyone, it's going to be really tough. You know, you need to manage everything, you know, your personal, professional and uh, life and then you know, preparation for OET as well. So you have done a wonderful mm -hmm. job, um, Ledwin. So, yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, so, I owe you a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't forget to book the flight tickets, you know, from Sydney to Brisbane. Uh, after the <laughs> for a party. Uh, we will definitely. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely yeah. see, you know. I, I yeah. would like to have some, you know, traditional food items, you know. Uh, from Yay. Zimbabwe as well. Yeah, you can cook something at home. Traditional dance, Zimbabwe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can have Yay. some fun and dance as well, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. I'm very happy. Yeah. I, mean, I can't express the feelings, you know, that I have towards your success. Uh, I felt ah, like, you know, my, you. my elder elder sister, you know, has passed this examination. So I felt so, so <laughs> I'm happy. I'm your big you know? sister, yeah. yeah. And you know one thing, yeah. it, was, it was my wife who told me that, you know, uh, Ledwin, one of my, one of your students, you know, has passed with the four B yeah. grades in, in, because I was, uh, you know, working yeah. on something, you know, on my laptop. And then I told yeah. her, hey, do you know who he is, who she is? Yeah. Uh, she said, I don't know. I, I told her, like, she is the one who, um, you know, wanted me to get married to her uh, sister. <laughs> she was looking at me, looking, looking at me like anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> she well, didn't say she anything. But I think if you come here in person... <laughs> <laughs> you you will definitely experience <laughs> that you never had anyway. Mm, good, good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ledwin. Yeah, I'm very happy, Ledwin, for you. I mean, like, um, you can. Ah, thank you very much. The yeah. nurse, and you can laugh really, all the way to really. the bank now. Yeah. yeah. Mm, good. Mm. That is your patient, isn't it? You have done. Um. So, can I have a bit of introduction about yourself here in Australia? So, what did you do here? What visa you were on, and what did you do here? before you appear in the exam? Uh, in fact, when I came in Australia in 2007, I started mm -hmm. working in HTK centers. Yep, okay. And I also uh, sent my, uh, my previous qualification for accreditation. Okay, sounds good. And they were approved, but because of discouragement from friends, mm -hmm. they said that my English was not up to touch and yep. uh, our kids were going to give me a hard time. Okay. We we're going to be a source of more curry because of our accent. Yep. So because of that, I had to uh, put aside the idea of teaching. Okay. Because yep. I've got a Bachelor of Arts from home and a master's degree in curriculum studies. Okay, sounds good. So yep. I had a passion for teaching when I arrived in Australia. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So but I think later on, I had mm. to uh, mm. brush aside anything mm. to do with teaching. Oh, and started good. to work in HTK centers. Maybe I can hire and, you as a as a as a part time teacher, you know, to teach these remaining OET students. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because in Africa we use a uh, traditional centered education where okay. the teacher Sounds is the good. center of learning. Mm -hmm. The teacher Sounds is good. in control, but in Australia it's child centered. Oh, okay. So All because right. of that, I was going to face a number of challenges. Okay. All right. I yeah. That. So I to put aside the idea of teaching. Mm -hmm. and started to work in educational centers. Okay. 
Uh, later on, I enrolled into nursing. Okay. I'm using my qualification from Zimbabwe. Okay. Um, mm. And I was exempted from writing English because uh, Zimbabwe has got a very good standard of English despite wow. our accent. Okay, and most good. of the nurses, they can work in uh, Australia. Those mm -hmm. were trained back home yeah. uh, into hospitals without the need of uh, writing English. But wow. as time passed by, they just changed their mm, policy. Okay. I don't know, is it related to politics or mm. I don't know. They started yeah. to ask the Zimbabweans to write English too. Okay. So if I had done my nursing uh, before 2010, I was going to yeah. use my uh, my English education from Zimbabwe, but from oh, okay. 2010, everything changed. Okay. We're now oh, asking right. Zimbabweans to uh, write English uh, in order to uh, pursue nursing or to do anything with health. Yeah, with the registration, yeah. Registration, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So I enrolled into nursing, but unfortunately yeah. I became pregnant okay. and I had to drop from nursing to nurse yeah. my child. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I was now considered as an undergraduate AIN. So okay. it it gave me uh, an opportunity to work in hospitals. Exactly. Yeah. So I worked at Leaf Up Hospital yeah. and St. George Hospital. And two, okay. I, I left uh, Sydney in, uh, in 2018. 2018, oh my God. When that's I, when spent, I uh, got a job here. That, that, that's when I came here. You know, I came here in the month of uh, May, 2017. Oh, okay. Yeah, previously I was, I was working in, no, 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 Perth. I was working in Perth oh, for about Perth. Oh, weeks. okay, yeah. yeah. Hmm. And then I made a move to Sydney, you know, in May, 2017. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. oh that's mm. good. Yeah. yeah. Then I left uh, Sydney in 2018, January, uh, okay. for Rockhampton when my husband was promoted uh, yep. for a higher post. Yeah. He mm. is working for the federal government as a yep. planner. Yep. Yeah. And as a result, I had to enroll into a local university and they asked me to start from second year okay. because so. what I've done in what I had done in Sydney were considered yeah. as electives in, in Central Queensland University. Okay, sounds so good. So it was really a hard time for me, but because mm -hmm. I wanted to have uh, a career and mm -hmm. to enroll into the uni and pass. Mm -hmm. But with the new uh, policy, I had to sit for English. Okay, sounds good. And you know, I was doing on, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's good. yeah, I passed my degree. Mm -hmm. But in Australia, you're supposed to write English if you yes. haven't done your secondary education here. That's right. Zimbabwe yes. was and was once exempted, but because of poor relations politically, yep. they have also so now they have changed asked Zimbabweans yep. yeah, okay. yep. to write English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was this your first attempt, um, Ledwin? My first attempt was in, uh, in November, 9 November. Okay. Last okay. year. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I thought I was going to pass, then quickly start uh, working as an RN. But okay. unfortunately, uh, I was not uh, picking up my mistakes. Yeah. Because okay. I thought I was a teacher. So okay. yep. <laughs> it is not going to be uh, yep. something challenging to me. Yep. Yep. So I didn't concentrate on speaking. Okay. As a history and definitely teacher i thought it was going to be easy for me okay. but there is a criteria which they are using yep. so even if you can have a uh, good grammar but yep. if you are not doing it according to the criteria you won't yes. pass yes you're right. yeah something yep. like clinical skills mm. uh building rapport with the patient yep. uh, giving the time the patient to communicate with you it should be a real scenario you should yep. dominate Yep. You should not speak too fast because yep. if you are too fast, uh, but you, were, you, you were all doing all almost all those things, you know, <laughs> before you yes, <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> you, you were all talking. I thought around, I was yeah. supposed to, to be to, to speak mm. uh, as much as I can to mm. show that I've got mm. knowledge, but, the but it's not how they mark, <laughs> yeah, because yes. what is important mm. is not to show your knowledge but to bring some understanding to the mm. patients. That's right. That's yeah right. so, so i was mm, sorry i attempted in uh in november 2020 yep. and i did 320 
Yep. Uh, then the second attempt was in March. Yep. And I did 340. Yep. So my first contact with um, Steve was yep. through, is it, was it through WhatsApp? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you 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 have contacted yeah, me. You said, up, yeah. yeah, I think you said you watched a YouTube video or something. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he encouraged me to join his uh, group yep. because he had helped a number of people who yep. were also struggling with uh, speaking yes. like me. Yep. And through his encouragement and uh, his wealth of knowledge, yep. I managed. I managed to pass because yeah. I had to stick to his strategies, yeah. implemented whatever he was imparting mm. uh, to me and others, yeah. and seeing other people passing, we have been scoring very low marks before, yeah. it was a source of encouragement. Yeah, and because right. of this group, the WhatsApp group, yeah. uh, I was like to have partners like Pravina, Minimo, Anu, Nivi, Fiba, yeah. they were so, helpful yeah. because at times they would conduct me in order mm. to practice because That's at right. times because of too much work I was mm. so tired but they would say no just five minutes ten minutes will be mm. we'll, we'll do the trick yeah. so we're always doing uh, practices mm. and because of their uh, experience as a real nurses yeah. uh, they were in a position to pick up my mistakes they were saying that one one of the things that you want to show that you know, which is not very important. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We have I, to make, you know, allow having, the patient to a, no, having having uh, a good mental status, use. having a good mental state is really important, you know, throughout your preparation. So you need to mm. you know, be relaxed. You need to be happy, you know, when you prepare for the OET examination, not only for the OET, mm. but also for the other exams. Yeah. You, you are on a mission, okay? So Yay. you the mission is possible. Okay, <laughs> you can definitely yeah, achieve sure. your mission. You can accomplish mm -hmm. your mission with the right guidance, yeah. and right preparation, and you know having people, you know the the kind and you know like friendly people like Pravina, Fiba, and others, you know can help you definitely, you know to boost your confidence. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's all about you know your um, you know your insight on how to maintain your uh, positivity throughout your preparation, and you have done that. Yes, yeah. Very happy mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, did you focus more on the other three sections apart from speaking this time? No, I was ignoring other areas. I was mm -hmm. just doing them in passing so that I won't uh, lose uh, the tricks. Mm -hmm. I was just reading the skills. Okay. Not, mm -hmm. a, not doing a lot unlike in speaking. In speaking, mm -hmm. I was doing two role plays every day. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. good. But the only mistake I made uh, during uh, the, the Rio exam mm. was failing to complete the first scenario. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I was pulled up by the second one because I was uh, sure that I did it very well. Mm. But the first one, no. Was not. Uh, it was really disastrous. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Otherwise, you could have scored maybe three ninety or four hundred in in your speaking. Even four hundred, I was going to to manage, but mm -hmm. I don't know why I could not finish. And the thing is that the the examiner, not the examiner, the the person who was uh, I don't know how to pronounce the word. Yeah, in, interlocutor. Default for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He was asking a number of questions, and <laughs> it took a number of. Hmm. of times for me to to redirect him yeah okay <laughs> so that you would continue yeah. uh, along the track That's and right. when, when i was trying to think uh, hmm. uh, how i can convince him how i hmm. can uh um change his mindset hmm. time was hmm. running finish. out hmm. <laughs> and i could not finish hmm. All right. mm. and, and this was one of my recommendations. You put me on our way. <laughs> it was and it was one of my recommendations as well. You know, when you have taken the practice role play conversations, do you remember? Mm. You gotta be, be able to manage the time. That's what I told you. You know. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. 
so what about the mm. you know what what about your preparation for the writing how did you perform uh, this time it, because you know i i think i gave you only 310 or 320 somewhere around that uh, in uh i didn't do a lot of practice with you i only submitted two letters yeah that's right mm. yeah i think if i had given uh a lot of time in reading writing and listening yeah. i think i was going to score even more yeah but because yeah. i was now interested in speaking because it was holding me up yeah. ah that's right I, I i was satisfied with getting c's in other areas and yeah. only a b in mm. speaking so that you can yeah. club right your previous yes. sitting with okay. my aim but now was you don't now to club. Club. yeah you are a superstar mm. now you you no longer need to club with anyone <laughs> any no other. no one sitting you can use the same <laughs> yeah, one sitting good here you go <laughs> what else do you want you can just ask apro yeah. you need this 350 yeah there yeah. you go in one atom <laughs> so yeah. so the thing is that uh, mm. i was just reading your strategies and mm. not uh, putting them into practice mm. if i had time to read and then put them into practice i was going to to to, to achieve more mm. that's right yeah yeah i just yeah. read the skills mm. yeah but mm-hmm. not put them into practice because uh i was so uh shaken my confidence in speaking mm-hmm. okay. so i concentrated more on speaking but unfortunately because of time management i could mm-hmm. not make it mm-hmm. okay because i was aiming more than 50 mm-hmm. was i done a lot of preparation yeah that's right yeah and uh, yeah. your uh, pronunciation wasn't that good you know previously isn't it so what you have done and also your speech rate I think you were talking very fast you know before you approached me. Yes, yeah. I still mm-hmm. remember that when I have conducted one of the you know the free role play conversations with you you were able to speak like anything. I can't understand anything at all. <laughs> yeah. And then I have given you this feedback here. please slow down. Yeah. You no know, the influence of your first language. In fact you are not the only person is, is creating yeah, so is creating a way I work is uh, because I work is a uh, as an assistant nurse in hospital. Mm. and as a disability worker and <laughs> the clients are saying that oh she's speaking chinese you don't understand me <laughs> <laughs> when i'm speaking english <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> when you, you slow down i think you know your uh, speech is good enough <laughs> yeah good uh, i tend to swallow my words when i'm speaking very fast but because of your uh because we're flogging a, a dead donkey <laughs> that's right. Chad <laughs> all means to knock some sense into mm. me mm. and when I managed to speak slowly I made it. <laughs> yeah, good. So it does a great yeah. attempt um Ledwin. And uh I think uh, you told uh you told me that uh, in your writing you didn't practice much isn't it? Where once yes. I give mm-hmm. you the feedback you know with the 320 out of 500 uh, because I have noted a lot of mistakes isn't it? Did you work out on them? and then uh, did you no i didn't yeah because when 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 you gave me 320 i was happy because i was aiming for a c only <laughs> mm, okay um, all right yep. yeah so you were initially yeah. thought of you know clubbing but now you have got 350 in writing as well oh my goodness <laughs> yeah because my aim was to get a c in all areas and a b in speaking only yeah so h- how yeah. much time did you receive uh, uh, the sessions from me how long did you receive the sessions from me was it only for uh, around 2 to 3 in weeks? fact it started in um when were the results out i have no idea well i think the results were out in 6 march then 29 april that's when the results were out yeah it should be 1 may mm, yeah that's right yeah yeah 1 may yeah mm. yeah okay cool cool so it's mm. been uh, more than a month right yeah mm. but because of a lot of work i was concentrating on work and speaking work and speaking because most of the time i had to see the the sessions but i was on work mm. Mm. yeah i understand and you yeah, still attended them i was working them, all think, the time yeah, yeah. Mm, you mm. you have still attended them you know i think isn't it yeah okay so now i'd like to request everyone to congratulate her and ask your questions if you have anything or uh, let us start mm-hmm. with anureka anureka do you have any questions to ask her You can Hi Edwin, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, when are you writing uh-huh. your exam? Come in a week. Uh, Saturday, ne- next Saturday. Uh, that oh, okay, I wish you the best. Just be confident. <laughs> and thank I've you. seen you are uh, writing a lot of uh, work uh, for correction. I think you are going to make it. Yeah, I didn't thank give you. myself time with uh, Steve in other three categories. I was only concentrating <laughs> in speaking. So when when my start, uh, my start, um, my in- initial conversation with uh, Steve was speaking mm-hmm. only, and he had to say, "No, you should do all the the four uh, subjects." But my initial conversation was aiming at speaking. Was speaking had given me a hard time. Yep. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. What type of questions you had in the exam uh, for speaking? Uh, for speaking, it was um, uh, it was uh, his daughter you may uh, worried about your father's yes. welfare. Uh, mm-hmm. The father was uh, going in town, and mm-hmm. as a result, he had to uh, visit a GP so that he can um, consult uh, how to go about it. Yeah, okay. and there were so many bulletin points. Mm-hmm. And because of that, the uh, when you are speaking, you don't know the the patient's or the carer's role card. So I don't know how you how you are supposed to respond to me because he gave me a hard time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was adamant, uh, trying by all means to give a lot of details about uh, prognosis, which I was not aware. But I had to make up a number of things in order to convince him yep. that's right. to yeah, bring that's his right. father. And this was right. uh, taking a lot of time for me. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, he had to stop me without even touching the two last bulletin, uh, okay. bulletin points. Mm-hmm. Not so that, just you know, that means you didn't you, uh, complete all the yeah, tasks. Yeah, that's right. That's so what no, I would tell you. Yeah. Even I though you don't, the, she didn't the, the, complete, the, the, she was able to get yes. 350. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. so, as long I as did you, a good you are job able to in the second scenario, the yeah. concerns of the patient, as long as you are addressing the concerns of the patients, you're trying to convince the patients, you should be all right. You know, achieving 350 shouldn't be an issue, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you have any other questions, Anu? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, Bharati, would you like to ask any questions? Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, hi, Ladwin. Hello, dear. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Uh, congratulations. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, could you please explain how to reduce the uh, background noises while speaking? See, I'm struggling in background noises. Always utilize the three minutes. Try by all means to utilize those three minutes for preparation. Uh, write down the bulletin points uh, what you are going to talk in the conversation and when you are speaking concentrate on what you have jotted down the small points so that you can expand them okay. because if you don't utilize the three minutes and start to read what is on the paper and then uh, try to think which word is appropriate it will take a lot of time and you will say ah uh, ah uh, ah uh try to find the, the proper way. So mm-hmm. utilize the three minutes, uh, plan your work. Uh, if there are eight bulletin points or six, uh, okay. try by all means to state what is really important. <laughs> and after stating it, uh, make sure that you are going to give a summary to check understanding of the patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Okay. Very helpful. Okay, no, I'll see mm. Ishwari, would you like to ask any questions? Uh, yes, Hello, Ludwin. Hello, How dear. are you? I'm good. I'm happy. Super happy. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ledwin, would you please tell me the reading tips and in, for part C? Uh, reading part B. It was quite easy for me because what I did was to 
uh, understand the questions in the text in my language and then translate it so that I can give or find the right answer. So stick to the strategies which were given by Steve. They are so yep. helpful. Yep. So you just need to yeah. follow, you know, whatever the strategies I have shared with you. Yeah. Um, hmm. You should be able to approach it. But I'll arrange maybe Thank one, you. you know, a few more sessions, um, you know, for parts. Yeah. Okay, in the next uh, couple of yeah. minutes. Thank you, Ledwin. Okay. Fiba, would you like to ask any questions to Ledwin? You can unmute Fiba. Yes. Hi, Ledwin. I'm so happy. Hello, you. Fiba. How are you? <laughs> How is your son? Are you fine? Oh, um, good, yeah. I am super happy to know that you uh, cleared your OET exam. Yeah, thank you very I, much. You did I a was very good job. Was... Yeah. Yeah. I was sure we hope me a lot the, here. I was sure of the fact that you will be definitely pass this exam. Oh, sure. Me, I was not. Was after not failing. Passed. Twice with the uh, a C plus, uh, it was uh, uh, something difficult to, to to understand the real problem of my speaking. Mm -hmm. But when I talked with the Steve and following his uh, strategies, I realized the way I were I was going wrong, and because mm -hmm. of that, I to uh, fully show my capability in the second scenario. That's why I managed to get a three fifty. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Hello. Yes. Hello. I yes. Think you went off, mm. Eva, here. Yeah. So I wanted to ask how was your experience during the exam and when you were giving all the four modules? Like, was it. Which, uh, ex which experience you are talking about? On, on uh, the exam day, on the exam day. Exam, so when you exam, have appeared in all okay. those four sections, did you feel very well with the, the way that you have performed in all four sections? Were you panicked or uh, what did you do? Did you maintain your, um, you know, chillness throughout the um, examination or, or so? I masked my feelings after the exam. No. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, I was nervous after speaking conversation. Mm, okay. Yeah. Because I know that I was going to get C's in other areas. Mm. But after having speaking mm. and uh, having a short job in the first scenario, yep. I was really uh, shaken. Yeah. Mm. I thought uh, probably I was going to have another C plus mm. because I didn't finish, yep. I didn't summarize, mm. and uh, one of the criteria is to check for understanding, uh, right. to convince the patient. That's At right, the end yeah. of the day, the patient to uh, to buy your idea, which I didn't do. Mm. But you still have got uh, 350, which is really amazing because yes. there is yeah. a number of factors, you know, that you have to address you know if you fail to address one of them uh, but if you score very well under the remaining parameters you must be able to get at least b grade okay and you have done yes this. yeah mm. i'm very happy for mm. you yeah you. okay mm. do you have any other questions fiba no sir okay all right pravina would you like to ask um, any questions to ledwin uh pravina is going to have an a in speaking <laughs> 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 yeah, I think she has been doing very well anyway. So yeah. Mm, yep. Hi. Hi, Ledwin. Hello, dear. Hi, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Ledwin. <laughs> yeah. I'm so Thank happy you. to hear this. <laughs> yeah, it was three. Yeah. I saw uh, you, 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 you were you were oh, what do we call echoing in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> All your corrections, and you know what? Even the the warm up questions we, we did them before the exam. So everything, in fact, uh, you, you were just yeah. uh, so helpful to me, Pravina. I don't yeah, have enough you. ways to thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are always welcome, Edwin, because yeah. you too helped me a lot. Then it was like a teamwork. We made it. 
Yeah. Well, it was a team way, tried, but Bravina, you were yeah. you were going an extra mile of uh, uh, ringing me <laughs> wow. so that we can have. So uh, you should book a, a flight ticket, you know, even from if India I was tired to, yeah. to Queensland as well, you know, to Brisbane. <laughs> yeah, we should yeah, definitely to, let me who, yeah, help you, you know, <laughs> it is UK, worth paying to, uh, <laughs> to Queensland, yeah. <laughs> Brisbane, yeah. <laughs> We can welcome, yeah. you know, whoever helped you, all right, to, to achieve your yeah. design. Yep. Mm. And mainly, Redwin, I have to appreciate your efforts first, yeah. okay? Mm. Because uh, you never ignored our role plays because we disturbed yeah, sure. you at 1 a.m. And because, no, sir, she, she, she used to spend her... I know. She so wasn't sleeping at all. She, she once, one day, she sent a message at 11.35. Hey Steve, aren't you sleeping yet? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the role plays were done after 1 a.m. with oh Prabina Minimo. Yes, it was 1 a.m. Hey, 1 a.m. Really? I just so messaged her. Let me sorry, I missed today's role play. Are you uh, yeah. are you working yeah. now? Like that, I asked mm-hmm. her. Then she yeah. said, "Yeah, Pravina, I'm ready." <laughs> it's one a.m. There. <laughs> you know th- that kind of you know d- determination, you know, and positivity, you know, helped her out a lot. And the hard work Yay. cannot be underestimated. You know, if you work really harder, uh, but not harder actually, but smarter. You know, you need to understand your problem areas and then try to work out on them one by one, and then you should be able mm. to see improvement anyway. And uh, mm. I think yeah, I have given you three fifty, you know, twice, isn't it, Ledwin? And that is the reason. I also yes. told you to go for re-evaluation if you don't get 350 this time in your speaking. Yes, yeah. yeah. And the one of the uh, tricks is to show concern uh, for the patient uh, right. from the beginning of the conversation. Right. Every, every response of the patient mm. should be acknowledged. Yes, I right. think that's why I got 350 because that's I cool. was always responding in a positive, in a friendly manner from that's the cool. beginning. So that's don't cool. wait for the patient to blah, 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 just uh, being quiet. We have to mm-hmm. show that we are uh, doing active listening. Yes. We are empathizing with the patient. We are uh, very friendly. We are very positive. We are so encouraging and uh, we are into it. You should show it from the uh, beginning from of the conversation. Yeah, from your heart. Yeah. You need to show the camera. So, so I think even though I didn't finish uh, the, 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 the tasks because of the approach I used uh, due to Steve's concerted yeah. effort. Right. Uh, so, sorry to interrupt, I, uh, Ledbin. Uh, yeah, we've yeah. got less than a minute now. Uh, anyway, I would like to congratulate you once again. And uh, you are on the pathway of becoming a registered nurse now. Um, yeah, it was such a wonderful association with you, and I wish you good luck for your future career. Ah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Girls, keep in touch. Yeah. Definitely, yep. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.